phone-free zone. Peoria Public Schools have a plan to help kids pay better attention in school. Gianna Jow shares how it will collect phones and the parents who are reacting to this idea. As Peoria Middle and High School students make their way back to the classroom this fall, their cell phones won't be making it to their desks. The Peoria Public Schools voted to buy up to 9,200 yonder pouches, costing almost $246,000. Um, you've seen that they provide professional development for, for teachers and for staff and ideal help with the communication to families as well. According to the Yonder website, the pouch is hand-sewn, and once the phone is placed inside, the pouch will lock. It's essentially a lockbox for cell phones. Really helps to limit the distractions in class. According to Goffsped, in the past eight years, schools in 41 states have spent $2.5 million to buying pouches from Yonder. Dallas social studies teacher Cameron Hill says his school has been using them for the past year. I definitely saw that. Uh, in my classes specifically over the course of the year that students couldn't just reach into their phone, reach into their backpack, excuse me, and grab a, a phone to text a peer or something. They had to stay engaged throughout the class. Dr. Sharon Karat says they will be looking at academic results over the course of having these pouches. So academic outcomes for sure. We'll look at the behavioral, um, the mental health. You know, we have, we're providing, we're providing a lot of um, mental health supports I don't know if you've, you've heard of Cartwheel, for example, where we provide online therapy, online supports. We'll look at our bullying data. Um, there are quite a bit of metrics that we can use. Students will be responsible to bring pouches to and from school. If a student loses the pouch, they will have to pay $30. If parents want to get in contact with students, they can email and call the school. Our team's phone, if they take them to school and they lose them or something happened to them, we have to replace them, not the school. Karat says the principals in the school district will meet on July 17th to finalize details about the pouches. Gianna Jow, 25 News.